So Sisters now on his own. Sisters with a goal. He was hurried all the way down. I don't know how he held on to it, but Sisters somehow knocks it top corner and in. So Sisters in the centre, he picks up the puck, fed nicely. He's just held on to by three B's players through. Somehow chips it up and over, goes glove side high. I think that's possibly more by luck than judgment. If you watch this one, so Sisters goes in, one hook, two blocks, and somehow just puts it into that top corner. And with seven minutes 32 gone in the first period, it's Phantoms one, B's nil. Hard plays it around to the other side. Short pass from McEwen just to panic. Phantoms looking to get set up. Oh no! Well, we didn't even have time to talk about that one getting set up. Martin Sisters with goal number two. Power play effort set up. Set up by Stepanek. We see Stepanek just drop it. One timer. And again, Sisters favouring that top shelf. Glove side high. Just rifled home. So, power play goal. 17 seconds on the power play. And Sisters just rifling it back to double the Phantom's advantage. Weldon now back in his own shirt, number 29. Stead there plays it down to Thompson who plays it across. Great goal, Edward Nags. What's happened again? Bees get themselves back on the board immediately. There we go, we see Thompson just holding it off. Great pass across centre to Edward Nags. Nags one times it. Goes block aside low and beats Mar on the power play. It's Phantoms 2, B's 1, with 1 minute 31 gone in the second period. A great shot from Edward Nags. And the B's are on the board. McEwen on the outside. B's playing a very tight defensive, playing a very tight defensive house, trying to keep the Phantoms to the outside. McEwen, slap shot, slap shot, five hole. Again, the Phantoms, absolutely devastating. This time taking 22 seconds, five seconds longer than the last one. So McEwen just holds the puck, turns to panic, panic draws his man, McEwen stops, shoots low, and managed to go five hole on Dean Skins. And with 24, 24 gone in the game so far, the Phantoms increase their lead once again, it's Phantoms 3, B's 1 here in the second period. He's going to have a big job on his hands. Puck goes around, the Bees will now look to get set up. They'll put one man in front of the net. Phantoms need to put Scott Robson in to try and contain that. Back post, Stead. Stead with a fantastic backhand. Ma had the first save, just 10 seconds remaining on the power play. Chased down very well by Josh Smith. Goes centre now, Tom Norton with a big shot. Out to Padalek, Padalek just holds it back. Goes to, the, goes to the post, Sisters looking for a shot. Option there and it's in! It bounces, I'm not sure how, but Tom Norton with a shot from the hash lines. Here we go again, so Padalek round the back, Sisters. Sisters holds it, draws his man, goes back. And then it's a one-timer, I think it actually comes off of Antonov's glove and down leaving uh, Skins unable to get to that one. But again, a great power play effort from the Phantoms. Definitely. They're, they're, I've said a lot of times on the stream before, the Phantoms on the power play are just, just a really good team to watch. They're, they're very consistent. Goes to one side. Antonov there looking to pick up. Great redirection. That's Sean Smith. Uh, sorry, Josh Smith. Fantastic mid-air redirection. Takes the water bottle off the back of the net. 13 seconds. So, not quite making a clearance. As Milton, I think, makes the clearance. Malnick with a shot in, but it's going to be Smith's redirection. Just watch this. This is fantastic. Malnick with a shot. Just off the top of the stick. Josh Smith redirects it high. Over Mars waiting glove. 10 seconds remaining on the five on three. Gonna watch for James Galazzi, he'll go high. So Sisters now drops it to Robson, Robson back on the ice. So Brendan Bed now looking to come in for the defense. And it's a goal, McEwen. McEwen plays it in. Sisters with a shot, see it on the replay. 
McEwen cross eye, sisters waiting, one times it, goes glove side low, and it's straight in the back of the net. The Phantoms with the power play goal on the five minute major. The power play will remain in effect for the next two minutes and 54 seconds. Plays it back down. In the centre, redirect. That's number three for Sisters. Beautiful redirect. And the Phantoms put another one away. Sisters has got a 10 minute, has got a misconduct penalty for the celebration. So it looks like Sisters will also be picking up a penalty. But uh, Robson and White claiming the, uh, Sisters and White claiming the assists. Here we go. Marshalled in by Tom Norton. Bees look for the shot, point blank. Yes. Goal's been given. Well, quick look at that, but that was Van Cleef there. Just came in on the back post, picked up the rebound. So, Martin there. Martin with the shot. Van Cleef just comes in on the back post. So, we've got a long view now. Goes out to the front, Van Cleef for the first shot. Picks up his own rebound and puts it away. So, Bees with a power play goal, cut the deficit on the night to two. Three, two, one. The helmets are off. There we go. The game is done. The final score on the night. Peace for a Phantom six, Bracknell Bees four. Score on aggregate, 13-8 to the Phantoms. The Peace for a Phantom sponsored by Evolve Technology of the NIHL One South playoff champions and will go in as the seeded team to next week's Final Four competition in Coventry.